Hello everybody, welcome back to Vlogmas Day. Oh my God, I should get this prepared before I start my video. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you everything that I got Quentin for Christmas this year. I have asked Quentin not to watch. So first things first, all of these are stocking stuffer gifts. They don't all fit in the stocking. We only did like small gifts and then we each got to choose one big gift for ourselves. So for myself, I got the aura ring. That's this ring here that I have been wearing. And Quinn has yet to decide what he wants to get for himself, but he will be picking a larger gift for himself this year. And he will be getting me stocking stuffers, and then I will be showing you what I got him this year. There's one thing that I've already wrapped and one thing that is in the mail. So when I talk about those things, I will put it on the screen somewhere. Let's just get to it. So. First things first, we have his beautiful little Q stocking. It's so cute. I'm so excited that we found this this year. I think I mentioned it a couple vlogs back, but the Q is so freaking hard to find. I feel like they don't make a lot of Qs, and then the people with Q names all take them really quickly. So we finally found his stocking with the letter Q on it. We love that. First things first, I'll get through the two things that I don't physically have. So the first thing that I got Quentin for Christmas is this Wrangler quarter zip jacket. I feel like quarter zips are super cute. That's what I always go looking for when I'm thrifting. But I really liked this one. I liked the color and I feel like he will like it. Thankfully with Amazon, we can return it if he does not like the color or the type of sweater but this is the first gift that I got for Quinn. The second one is on the way in the mail currently. I think it gets here, I think it's supposed to get here today or tomorrow, I don't know. But it's called Pub Pass, so I'll put an actual picture on the screen here. I'm just gonna read it to you. Pub Pass is a small book that gets you a free beer at 25 of the best bars and breweries about around Tampa and St. Pete, including Cycle Brewing, Ology Brewing Co., Tampa Bay Brewing Co., Cigar City Brewing, and more. It's formatted like a passport with a page for each participating bar that you get stamped after receiving your beer. You have all of 2024 to use it so you can explore the city and try beers at your own pace. So I thought that was a really cool thing. I actually did remember seeing this last year and I was like, oh, that's a really cool gift idea. So I ended up grabbing two for him. So if he doesn't go with me, then he can take whoever he's going with and they can use the other passport. So he and the other person that he's with can get a free beer. I thought it was really cool. Pub Pass is available in a lot of different states. So if you're interested in this, check it out. I'll leave the link down below just in case anyone's interested, but I thought it was a really cool idea. Quentin loves beer and so a free beer at 25 breweries, it's amazing. And it's affordable, it's only $25. So a dollar per beer, I think that's an amazing deal. I think he's really, really gonna like it. I was also trying to think of some other beer related gifts. I did get one other thing here that I'll show you in a sec, but I was thinking about like a beer subscription service, but that one was a lot more expensive and it's like a monthly payment. So I'm glad this one popped up again because it showed up as an ad for me. Um, but thankfully it showed up because I did remember liking it in years past. So I was like, wow, this is a great idea. Since we're on the topic of beer, I also got him these beer chiller sticks. Most of the things that I got him are from Amazon. So I'll link everything down below just in case anyone's interested. But I thought these were really cool. So this is what they look like. Um, you freeze these and then you stick them in your bottle of beer. And then I believe you can drink out of it as well. So yeah, it'll go through the little holes there. You drink it and it keeps your beer cold. And then it also came with a little beer opener. I thought that was really nice. And it's like really heavy duty. And it comes in a cool box. It's like magnetic and everything. Fancy schmancy. The next gift I will say I kind of messed up on. I'll just get him new ones if he doesn't want to use these. But um, he had mentioned for his phone that he wanted the ones that stick to the dash of his car. He has a pop socket case now, so he wanted something that was pop socket compatible. So I picked up these, but I did not realize that they're cats. And Quinn doesn't like cats, I don't think. I don't know, I feel like he might not care because your phone goes in it. It's not like you're looking at it. It came in a pack of three, again, from Amazon. I will link them below. And then it came with the little um, adhesives and the alcohol pads so you can clean your surface and then put the pads on. Quentin loves 
to steal my chapsticks, I will say that. I give him the grapefruit one though because I hate grapefruit and he does not mind it. So the next gift is some chapsticks. And I actually had this one, it's a Vaseline Rosy Lips chapstick. And it was on my bedside table. I used it a few times, but I didn't really love the way that it felt on my lips. If you know, I love my Jack Black chapstick. That is my go-to chapstick and I replenish any second that I am low. So that's my chapstick. And so this one was sitting in my bedside table for a really long time, like half used. And I gave it to him and he used it up in literally like a week. So I picked him up a variety pack of all the different flavors or scents or what do you call chapstick? Chapstick flavors. Yeah, right? Flavors. I don't know. We're going to say flavors. And so I didn't realize that they had a bunch of different ones. So the first one is the rosy lips. This one is just the plain Vaseline one. This one is cocoa butter. I'm intrigued by this one. I want to try this whenever he opens it. And then also this one, the aloe vera chopstick. So I thought these were really cool flavors. Um, I think he'll really like these. He will use the heck out of them. He's always in need of chopstick, as we all are. We're always losing our chopstick, are we not? So got him a little value pack. Next up, I just got him a little gift card here um, for the Nintendo eShop. I put one in my stocking as well, but just so we can buy a little game that we can play. I love games. Quinn, not so much, but whatever. He'll play with me if it's like a two player game. So put a little $25 gift card in there. Next up, I got this. I love the little case. It's so freaking cute. It is a pair of little scissors. So the reason I got him these little scissors is because I have a pair of these little scissors for my nails and he stole them. He stole them things and he uses them for his mustache. So I got this one, it's gold, it's very fancy and it's actually pretty heavy duty. I never took it out of the case, but I thought the case was so cute. He'll hopefully never lose them, but they have like a little curved tip. So he likes that little aspect of the scissors that I have now. And I just thought these were like very fancy looking and he'll get a lot of use out of them, so. I got him a pair of these little scissors. Next, I got him some multivitamins. I actually have the brand of these multivitamins in the women's multi. I got the men's multi for him, obviously. I really like the packaging. You just twist it and then you shake them out. So I really like that. We obviously both need to take our vitamins. So got him a little mini pack. He can take it with him on the go or leave it by his bedside table or something, but some multivitamins for health. We got two more things. The next thing is a jerky making kit. Quentin has been very interested in making jerky. Hi, Moose. <laughs> he ended up making a jerky marinade a few months ago, I would say at this point. We took out meat and everything and we're getting ready to try to make the jerky and then it ended up being ribs. Like I, I thought it was like a big slab of meat that he could just like cut up, but it ended up being like actual ribs. So he still used the marinade on the ribs and it was so, so good. So I'm excited for him to use this. I feel like he will really like this. It's the heat flavor, so it's gonna be spicy. We love spicy here in this house. So it comes with all the instructions, all the recommendations. Seasons 20 pounds of meat, so we can do this a couple times depending on how big a piece of meat he uses. But yeah, I feel like he's really gonna like this because like I said, he's been really into meats lately <laughs> i also tried to stuff this in his stocking but it's like so big it doesn't fit so i ended up leaving it but it was sticking out like that so i put a piece of paper on top of it just in case but he's not bad he doesn't uh snoop around like maybe i would anyway when i put the paper that's what it looks like and the very last thing that i got him i actually have to open it's still in the package got delivered today. One thing about Quinton as well is he loves coffee. And I'm really, really excited about this one because it is the Blue Bottle Coffee, the EXO collaboration. EXO meaning the weekends collaboration with Blue Bottle. So I thought this was a really cool gift idea and it's just gonna be so exciting to try this. I wanna read the back. We crafted our first Samra Origins blend with Abel, the weekend test fay, and his mother, Samra, to invite you into their home through a taste of traditional Ethiopian coffee. Growing up in Addis Ababa, Samra was accustomed to unrivaled complexity and nuisance in her morning coffee. 
Her mother would pan roast local coffee beans daily and brew them fresh to share with her loved ones. Sama brought this tradition to her Toronto home with Abel in a ceremony called Bunta Tetu. That's cute. We looked to Samra and Abel's deep-seated knowledge of classic Ethiopian coffee to guide us to a flavor profile that speaks to their culture and feels like home. Together, we've composed a coffee that feels both familiar and novel to our co-creators. Experience a piece of Samra and Abel's lives with this blend crafted from a memory. So isn't that so cool? He made it with his mother. Like that's so sweet. So it says it is a blend of two iconic Ethiopian coffees with notes of raspberry, toffee, and citrus blossom. That sounds amazing. So whenever we try this, I will definitely show you because I am very excited for this. I feel like he will be excited for this. So that is everything that I got Quinn for Christmas. I am very excited to give him gifts. I love, love, love giving gifts. I'm sure at some point we will be opening these gifts on camera and showing what we got each other. I know Quinn's very stressed about the gifts for me, but I love anything that he gets me. So it doesn't matter what it is. If it comes from the heart, that's all that matters. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next Vlogmas. Bye guys.